Hi, you join me today on the, on the banks of a Shropshire still water and uh, we're fishing for pike. We're using the old fashioned method of sink and draw. So this is basically just a wire trace, maybe a few split shot and then a dead fish. And basically we cast that out and then our input, either twitching or reeling back or whatever we're gonna do, um, we put the motion into the dead bait as though it's a live fish. So really, really simple and really, really versatile. Um, just to quickly show you how I've set this up, I've just used one of our Corum Law traces. The snap link on the end has a, a rather large and quite thick engaged single hook. I'll show you why in two seconds. And then I use a varying range of small stingers, which is a large treble, small piece of wire, and a speed clip. And that's simply added to the clip. And then I will mount the bait for you now. Okay. So that's basically it. We've got a range of baits available to us today. I've got dead roach, sardines, mackerel and a smelt. Attach the smelt first. So I'm taking the bait, the single hook coming up through the bottom lip, up through the top lip. So pinning those lips closed, the thick gauge of wire doesn't pull through, that gives a good hook hold, so that takes the power of the cast. I'm, you can use elastic band for this, or I'm using a piece of old inner tube, and I clip that on so that holds that in place. Then, the stinger treble that I attached just goes down the side of the bait, and I just nick that in the top of the flank. So you can see how that's fished. All I need to do now, clip on a few swan shot, cast that out and start retrieving. Thought, so I'll pick the roach up then. Oh, it's gone. Hello. Yeah. So that's the wonderful thing about this method. Unlike a lure, you can leave it once you get a fish actually interested in the bait. Has he dropped it again? This is finicky. You can leave the, the fish to, because to, it's a natural bait you're fishing, you can leave it to develop and um, generally a fish will take it like he would a, a live bait or a dead bait and actually move off with it but it's odd I've had a couple of really heavy knocks and then nothing's happening so as the fish is moving no he's dropped it again ah, ah. okay so it's at the bait <laughs> never mind we'll cast back out see if we can get another go at him He's interested anyway. Okay, so it's pretty deep here. We're probably 16, 18 feet. So we're letting the bait sink right to the bottom. I'm expecting the pike to be, you can fish this method at any, any depth. I'm expecting the pike today to be right down on the bottom um, so I'm letting the bait go down to the bottom and then I'm going to fish it really really slow today so I'm literally just taking the bait you know we've got a bite straight away
Okay, so we've got a bite. Yes! Oh! Yeah. Under them trees. So that literally was two twitches and we were in. Sunk to the bottom, twitched it a couple of times. We just had a bite out there. Same sort of distance. Getting out of there. And we'll put another bait out. And we're in again. Just caught round its gill there. Here we come, here we come, here we come. Hey! There we go. I'll get the unhook him out and we'll take it to the bank, Rob. Um, taking on the sink and draw, basically just twitching it along the bottom, pike a deep down. This method's versatile, you fish any sort of bait, as long as the bait's tough enough for a few casts, but you can fish any depth. So we're fishing deep down today, just twitching it along the bottom, and we've obviously found where a few of these preds are hanging out after some prey. Great fishing on a winter's day. We're in. Oh, he's off. Ah. So the bites we've had today have been really, really subtle. We've just lost a fish there. And the rig that I'm using with the with the bait holding hook and then the large stinger. The reason I use such a large stinger is because I can hit the fish fairly quickly. Um, so I've got no risk of deep deep hooking the pike. But That one came off, which doesn't often happen. But like I say, the difference between this and a, if I was using a rubber bait or a hard plastic, is if I'm using those, you, you, you know, it's a lure and the minute you get a bite, you're striking and hoping that the fish is hooked. With this, I can let the bite develop. So it's a nice blend of working a bait, as in lure fishing, and dead baiting as in feeling that fish pick up the bait and move away with it which I think in predator fishing is one of the exciting times you know when we get that bite you feel that fish pick up the bait and then start to move off with the bait the anticipation that you're just about to be playing something of unknown size is for, especially for me, is one of the exciting parts about it. He hasn't come back that cast. I was hoping he would. Grey lags, noisy things. They've been disturbed by somebody. Okay, so the area we're working here, the lake comes across, drops down into a deep trough out in front of me, and then very much like the bank behind me, the lake bed mirrors this steep shelving motion. 
And at this time of year, when the water gets to about its coldest, most of your bait fish, your roach, perch, shoalfish, they get along this deep trough and sort of sit in this deep trough at varying different levels in the water. Well, although now the pike that we've caught seem leached up so they're fairly stationary, they'll sit underneath them and there'll be times in the day when they when they decide to go on the feed and get up into those shoals of fish. Or we'll just sit around waiting for a, a dead one to twitch limply past. Like, if you vary the speed, the action, the distance you come off, up off the bottom. Long pauses, short pauses. It's basically all down to you. But yeah, if you go through, you'll build a repertoire and as you go through it, on any given day, you'll sort of work out what's turning the fish on better than other days. I do like those pauses. Like a lot of sort of moving bait methods, the bites seem to come on the pause. Almost like they'll follow and watch, follow and watch. Bait stops for a second and bump. Hello. Here we go. I'm going to let the. Okay. So that's right close in. See my, I'm going to let this one develop a bit more. I would say he's dropped that. Line's gone slack. Oh! No, we got him. Excellent. Okay, I thought he dropped that. He must have swam towards me up the shelf. Great bite. Like I say, that's the joy of fishing this method. We've let him take that. Just gave a few seconds longer than the last time. Not a big fish, but very, very welcome at this. Oh. Welcome at this time of year. Johnny's just hooked with the top hook. Beauty, there he is. Okay, what a wonderful way to wrap up our sink and draw pike fishing day. Lovely Shropshire syndicate water. Cold day. You know what we thought was going to be a hard day, but probably half a dozen bites or more. And four nice fish landed. On a day like today, you can't knock it. Certainly for me, great days fishing. Thanks to the pike.